The Center Without Walls for Imaging Proteinopathies with PET is a multidisciplinary, multi-institutional research program whose goal is to develop novel radio tracers for use with the molecular imaging technique positron emission tomography. The different institutions involved are the University of Pennsylvania, which is the lead institution, and collaborators at Yale, the University of Pittsburgh, Washington University in St. Louis, and the University of California at San Francisco. It's well known that neurodegenerative disorders are characterized by the formation of one or more insoluble protein aggregates. And it's really the topic of pharmaceutical development today to develop strategies for either preventing those insoluble aggregates from being formed in the first place or to prevent their progression through the brain. It's impossible to determine how well these therapies are working given the current technologies. The radio tracers that we are developing will be used to determine how well these new therapies are working in treating these disorders. The collaboration between my laboratory and the Center Without Walls for Imaging Proteinopathies with PET is all about bringing tools that my laboratory developed for basic science to bear on this important problem in translational imaging. So those fall into three main categories. In silico or computational methods, and those allow us to look at millions to billions of small molecules to prioritize a few hundred for experimental testing. Photo cross-linking that allows us to figure out where those molecules are binding on a protein surface. And then fluorescence methods to figure out how the small molecule and the protein interact with each other. I'm head of the Human Imaging Corps as part of this uh, multi-center trial run by uh, Bob Mack. And I do neuroimaging research primarily with PET as well as some with MR. And my main function with the Human Imaging Corps is to oversee and develop the methods that we're going to use for testing these new PET radio pharmaceuticals we're making for labeling alpha-synucleonin for our tau. This work is really critically important from several perspectives. Number one, the new radio tracer for alpha-synuclein can help us identify people with Parkinson's, help with diagnosis, help us distinguish them from people with other synucleinopathies, even MSA, or other Parkinsonian-type conditions we're called progressive supranuclear palsy or cortical basal degeneration. And we hope these will be a major help with that. Yale and, our, and the Yale Pet Center is just very excited to be part of this fabulous consortium to be able to develop novel radiopharmaceuticals for these Alzheimer's disease and related disorders. Trying to look at these targets in the brain that are just very, very difficult to image without the right combination of the right radiopharmaceuticals as well as the right imaging technologies there. And our role, one of my roles in particularly part of the clinical core is to be obviously to evaluate those in patients and do that with the best possible imaging characteristics. And some of that can be accomplished by just doing the imaging very, very well. And we're one site that's done thousands of pet brain images with high resolution, but also trying to work on that as a consortium with our other sites to be able to combine data in these difficult disorders where each site may only be able to do a few patients. At our site, we're one of the new generation of ultra high resolution and sensitivity brain dedicated system, our Neuro Explorer. It is also long for the brain, 50 centimeters long, enough to count the vast majority of the events coming out of the brain, but also does that with much higher resolution. We're gonna have resolution under two millimeters and that's gonna really let us focus on these very small structures with very high sensitivity. So not only the resolution is great, but the statistics are great. We can measure those small things or small changes in subjects from one day to the next. I'm a um, radiochemist at the University of Pittsburgh, and I've been involved for many years in imaging amyloid in the brain of living human beings uh, using positron emission tomography. Recently, we've become involved with trying to improve the properties of the existing 4R tau imaging agents as part of an NIH-funded U19 uh, grant uh, in collaboration with the University of Pennsylvania. If we were to develop an improved 4R tau imaging agent, it could be used for the clinical diagnosis of the 4R tauopathies, as well as an agent to aid in the development of therapeutic agents in terms of target engagement and to look at disease progression for different therapies that are under research investigation currently. I think the computational methods that we've developed as part of this center is going to be a paradigm shift in PET radio tracer development. Because we've shown that it not only works as synuclein, 
it works in 4-Hour Tau. And basically, this method can work with any protein target that as long as there is a three-dimensional structure of that protein for us to work with. So this really is going to serve as a gateway for radio tracer design that will drive and lead the field for, for many years to come.